In this video, we will learn the basics of converting between units. In particular, we will be learning how to convert between two units with the same zero point. Such a conversion can be illustrated by a two-dimensional graph where the y-axis is one unit and the x-axis the other. The line intersecting the origin of the graph represents the relationship between the two units. Graphically, we can convert between x and y units by starting with an x value, tracing a vertical line until it intersects the line. Then we can trace a horizontal line to the y-axis to find the equivalent y value. Algebraically, this is represented as y equals mx, where m is the slope of the line. For straight lines that intersect the origin, the slope is also the ratio y divided by x. Some unit conversions are more complex. For example, the Fahrenheit and Celsius temperature scales have different zero points. The relationship between degrees Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius can be obtained by remembering the freezing and boiling points of water. A straight line connecting these points shows the conversion between these temperature scales. But notice that the graph does not intersect 0, 0. Therefore, the method of conversion we will be discussing does not directly apply to temperature conversions. Let us look at a common conversion factor. 2.54 centimeters equals 1 inch. The equals sign means that the left and the right sides of the equation are equivalent or that 2.54 centimeters is the same distance as 1 inch. Let us divide both sides by 1 inch. On the right side of the equation, we have 1 inch divided by 1 inch. Fortunately, units divide just like numbers do, and x divided by x is 1 for x not equal to 0. This means that the right side reduces to 1 or that the inches cancel. On the left side, we are left with 2.54 centimeters per inch. Since this ratio is equal to 1, we can multiply any quantity by this ratio and it leaves that quantity unaffected. This is because multiplying by 1 is an identity operation. For example, 4 times 1 is 4. 3.14 times 1 is 3.14. And x times 1 is x. Let's say that we want to find how many inches are equal to 10 centimeters. We start with 10 centimeters and multiply by the inverse of the conversion factor, which is also 1 since the inverse of 1 is 1. The centimeters cancel, and we are left with 4 inches to one significant figure. One more example. Passenger jets have a cruising altitude around 36,000 feet. How many miles above sea level is this? The conversion factor between feet and miles is 5,280 feet is one mile. Multiplying the altitude by the resulting factor yields 6.8 miles. Let us summarize the important result here. Let's convert 0.324 grams to milligrams. The conversion factor is 1 milligram is 10 to the minus 3 grams. Arrange the conversion factor so that grams will cancel. In this case, we need to put grams in the denominator and milligrams in the numerator. Algebraically, grams divided by grams is 1, and we are left with the desired units, milligrams, in the numerator. One final important extension of these types of conversions is that we can stack conversion factors because for any quantity, we can multiply by 1 as many times as we like, and that quantity is unaffected. For example, 4 times 1 times 1 times 1, etc. is 4. If we want to convert 13.2 inches to meters, there are two conversion factors that we need to use. We can use the first to convert to centimeters and the second to convert to meters. We can also stack like conversion factors for converting squared or cubed units. Remember that cubic centimeters is centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. Stacking three of the conversion factors, one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters, yields the desired outcome. We can simplify this expression by cubing the conversion factor. Notice that both the units and the numbers of the conversion factor are cubed. In other words, the cube applies to everything in parentheses.